Hey Luke, let's talk a little bit about Cricut Wireless. Yeah. We have been doing some videos on best phones to purchase at various carriers. Yep. Mobile virtual network operators. Right. Prepaid, postpaid, we're covering all of them. Yeah. We're going to go through for spring 2022 and kind of put together the best phones that we think people should check out at each of these carriers. Yeah. This is not some kind of exhaustive list that covers all kinds of different things. This is usually four or five. Yeah, we kind of tried to do a uh, four different categories of phones mm-hmm. uh, that your average consumer is going to be looking at. Yeah. And um, those are for Cricket, our uh, productivity, mm-hmm. flagship, uh, all around, and entry level. Yeah. A lot of times people come to us and ask us just in general, hey, I'm looking to get a new phone. What do you recommend? Mm-hmm. And it becomes, what kind of a user are you? Well, I don't need the latest and greatest. I just want a good all-around value. Right. We'll talk about that. Uh, I'm looking for something just basic. I don't need anything special, anything fancy. That's the kind of stuff. That's what this video is for. Right. And then the next step is what service do you have now? Yeah. So we've you know we've talked about the MVNOs on if you're looking for different service. We have a whole series of videos and, mm-hmm. and podcasts on how you can uh, maybe save some money on your plan. But this is uh, if you have Cricket mm-hmm. and you're looking for a new phone. Here's four phones we think are worth looking at. Yeah. Or if you're considering Cricket. Yeah. And it's time to get a new phone. Here's what you might be able to, might want to look forward to uh, checking out when you make the switch. Sure. So let's start at the uh, entry level. Yeah. Somebody says, hey, I don't really have too many needs. I just want a phone that lets me do phone things. Yeah. Text, email, social media, occasional photos, nothing you know, nothing fancy. Sure. Uh, what would you recommend or what do we have here for entry level? Right. That's going to be the Motorola Moto G Pure. Mm-hmm. Um, this is not a, a lot of bells and whistles. It's not the latest and greatest, not the fanciest thing, uh, but it's a good phone. Yeah. It's going to get you uh, the things that you're used to. Mm-hmm. It's a candy bar style. It's got a full touch screen. Uh, but you have uh, those camera features. They have multiple cameras. You mm-hmm. have, uh, you know, front-facing camera for selfies. You have it's running Android 11. Yep. So it's a more um, more current operating system than yeah. some of the phones that are available at that price point. Yeah. Um, we looked at a couple others and kind of weighed those, and there are some that you can get for less money, mm-hmm. but you are stepping back potentially in versions of Android. So this kind of walks that line and says, here's a good starting off point for spring of 2022. Right. It's Android 11, as you mentioned. Six and a half inch screen, so it's nice and big. Yep. Uh, decent storage, decent amount of memory, and a decent battery. It's yeah. nothing that uh, is going to set any benchmark records or nope. you know knock your socks off. But the Moto G Pure, it runs about $110. Yeah. And uh, one thing also kind of... Uh, qualify this as this is a 4G phone. Yes. Or some of the other ones you're going to look at maybe 5G. So mm-hmm. maybe why we didn't pick one that was only twenty thirty dollars more. You know, it this is this is truly an entry level. I don't have uh, strict needs. Right. So we'll move up to uh, the best kind of like all around value. Yeah. Sure. This is you know doesn't happen to be the top of the line specs. Doesn't happen to be the most well-rounded device on the planet, Mm -hmm. but it's the bang for your buck kind of device. So with that one, we chose the Samsung a 53 5g. Yes. Uh, the galaxy a series is kind of like the, uh, the dark horse for Samsung. Yeah. The galaxy S gets all the flagship, uh, popularity Mm -hmm. and fanfare, but the a is just as good for many people because it gives you all of the, needs with very few of the extra ones yeah so this is going to give you a very solid uh mid-range package and you're talking about 300 dollars here yeah and what do you get for that money uh so for that you're getting uh a six and a half inch screen Mm -hmm. uh a 5,000 milliamp battery so it's going to be able to last you all day uh up to 120 gig storage Mm -hmm. um android 12 5G, 5G. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
IP67 rating, so you're you're going to be able to take it with you wherever you're going, mm-hmm. and you're going to be safe for the most part. This is going to get you. This is going to fill the needs of most people, and that's yeah. why we call it the all around phone for mm-hmm. cricket. Is uh, it's not the bells and whistles. It's not the latest and greatest of those flagships, mm-hmm. but it's going to have better features than the entry level phones, yep. and it's really not going to break the bank on price. Yeah. So that's the Galaxy A53. Mm-hmm. And then if we move all the way up to the flagship, yeah. it's to say, hey, what's just give me the best thing available. What is the top of the line phone from Cricket today? Yeah. Uh, we decided or we arrived at the Galaxy S21 FE, which is the fan edition. Yeah. Uh, this guy runs about $700. Mm-hmm. And you might think, well, I thought there were also some other phones out there. There are, but not at Cricket. As of today. Right. So this is kind of like their best flagship experience. This one gives you a 6.4 inch display, 4,500 milliamp battery. It's a 5G phone, mm-hmm. 128 gigabytes of storage. It's got multiple cameras. It runs Android 12. It offers uh, wireless charging capability. Yeah. So it is in most people's uh, lifestyle, it more than they need. Sure. You know, even though it's the 21 and... You know, we're at 22 this year. It is still, you know, for a lot of people, that's not uncommon to say, well, now that this is out, I can buy last year's model because it's $200 less or whatever. So that is the S21. Uh, You're looking at about $700 for that one. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, Luke, if somebody just said, hey, you know, I'm looking for something that I just like to be productive with my phone. Sure. I don't do a ton with it, but I like to just be, you know, I want a phone that's a little bit more. Uh, multitask friendly, mm-hmm. uh, a little bit more flexible for uh, more unique needs. Yeah. What do we have for that one? So at Cricket, there's not a lot to, uh, for that need, but one that does uh, fill some of those needs is the Motorola uh, Moto G Stylus. Mm-hmm. So this is, uh, it has a stylus with it, as in the name. So mm-hmm. you're going to get a little bit more control over some note taking, some marking up for documents. Uh, some of that kind of stuff that um, lends itself to a little bit more of the productivity user. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're still going to get the candy bar style phone with the cameras. Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, you got the 5G capability. It and has a 6.8 inch screen. So yep. it's pretty big. 5,000 milliamp battery mm-hmm. again. So it's going to be able to do everything you need to do. Quad camera. So mm-hmm. One of them being a 48 megapixel camera. So it is a good kind of, this is maybe similar to the all around value. Sure. But it gives you the flexibility of, I need to, you know, maybe make notes on things. Yeah. Mark up documents. I like to doodle. Yeah. Draw and do different things. The stylus, you know, that comes with this one. Now there are, I think, two Moto G stylus at Cricket right now. Yeah. This is the 5G. Yeah. One. So- so we like that one for about $230 because it is a great 5G phone mm-hmm. kind of value pack thing with a little bit of wiggle room for extra productivity. Yeah. So these are the four that we picked out. There are other ones to choose from and there are yeah. iPhones as well. Obviously, we cover the Android aspect of this. Yep. Um, and these are the prices as of today. Sometimes you'll find discounts on them. And you can also look into potentially leasing or splitting up your payments over uh, you know, 12, 18 months or something like that. If, right. You know, that's easier for you. So yeah, that's cricket wireless and the best phones that we decided on for spring 2022. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.